oh, 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 oh. Being a man means responsibility, accepting it, leaning into it. I don't know, and, and I think I'm okay with that. Love. Tenacity. Strong. For me, a man means gentleness, and it means collaboration. I'm a man. I told my son it's okay to cry. My dad never told me that. There were times growing up when I was taught that boys don't cry, that we needed to man up, and that we couldn't be soft. But unfortunately, these are messages that society sends boys every day. And research shows that the more they listen to these messages, the more at risk they are of becoming emotionally repressed men. So there's a crisis with our boys, and it's leading them to underperform in school, commit violent crimes, and even suffer from depression and anxiety at alarming rates. So why are boys struggling? Today, we're gonna to take a look at some of the real challenges they face and hear one man's story about how he's dedicated his life's work to giving boys the tools they need to be actively strong and compassionate men. It's time to rebuild our boys. I'm Jason Rosario, and this is Dear Men. When people say man up to me, it's usually a time when like, I'm crying. They want me to like, stop, like, be tough show that you like hardcore. The stereotype for men is to go out in war. The wife stays at home, makes pie. And then when he comes home, he'll be like, I did it like a man. I manned up. It's like a sexist way of saying I recovered. I think it's just dumb. They don't have to be like tough. They could be nice and sweet. In terms of tough, like, they don't cry a lot. Well, sometimes people who don't really understand, they be like, since you crying and it's just on your weak points, you a girl, you a little punk and all that. But like, my friends let me know that like, yo, men cry too, men get emotional too, and it happens to the best of us. I just had friends who were like, call you a bitch if you cried. They weren't good friends in all honesty. I kind of feel like boys have more pressure because the idea of men is like, you got the be tough, hold everything. And, and with females, they can easily like show emotion and stuff. With boys, you have to like not speak on it. Well, I don't want to let them see me cry because I feel like they'll think I'm like soft. I cried a couple of times just seeing something that, that just hit a spot. I used to think it was soft, but you know, now it's, it's cool, man. I don't care who sees me crying and, and sorry, just let it out. Jason Wilson runs an academy in Detroit and uses martial arts to teach boys how to tune into their emotions, deal with anger, and be more confident. His work inspired an iconic moment in the hit TV series, This Is Us. Are you willing to raise this young boy into a strong man? Yes. He also wrote a book called Cry Like a Man that chronicles his journey of breaking through emotional barriers. We got a chance to link up on his recent visit to New York City. What's My up, twin bro? brother. Hey. <laughs> What's up, so man? good to finally meet you, Thanks man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let's let's walk it. over here. It's been a while. I've been watching your work. So I want to know what does your training program offer these young boys that they can't get elsewhere? Well, the Cave of Adullam is a male transformational training academy. Our mission is to teach, train, and transform boys into comprehensive men, courageous, but also compassionate, strong, but sensitive. So the Cable of Adullam offers boys and young men a safe space like this here where you can talk and share with someone who cares. But how do we have to raise and love boys specifically? When I first started the Cable of Adullam, um, there was a plethora of boot camp programs and it was all discipline driven and they were failing at alarming rate. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. You think of martial arts, you think of only discipline. And so when I started implementing the training, I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't working. And I quickly discovered that our boys didn't need more discipline. They needed to be loved. And so once I was able to show them what it feels like, what it looks like to be loved by a strong man, to be guided by someone you can trust. Man, I had a group of kids who were, at least six of them were um, predicted to not graduate from the eighth grade. All of them graduated. <laughs> This is about. Good. Let's get to that. Why are you crying? That's what this is about, son. It's okay to cry. We cry as men. Why are you crying, son? And there's a viral video that um, shows you giving 
a young boy in your dojo permission to cry. Yes. Because what? Because it is harder to put stool with my left hand. Okay, good. But you did it, though. You know in life there's going to be things harder for you to do than other things? There's this fear of if we allow boys to cry that somehow we're going to raise them to be weaker men. What do you think about that? You actually become weaker. You're more vulnerable when you can't express your emotions. You start making uh, more detrimental decisions in life. So many men I know who are divorced now wish they would have had the mental fortitude to, to express their emotions to save their marriage. But because again, they allowed themselves to be defined only by masculinity, they actually were weaker. And so emotions, when you become comprehensive emotionally, you become a stronger man because you have nothing to fear. It's only fitting that we present you this with your brothers around because they've been here the whole time pushing you on. Congrats, that's yours. But tell me about the, the initiation. Well, the initiation um, with the Cave of Adullam, it's amazing. We test their emotions. We challenge them emotionally from their fears. We, we tax their uh, anxiety levels. They are tested physically. And then after the test, which is beautiful, the father has to come on the mat and do push-ups with the recruit or their son on their back. What are you trying to teach young men with that exercise? And how'd you come up with that concept? My father wasn't active in my life. We lived in the same city, but just wasn't around. And I always desired for me to have someone I knew I could lean on. And no matter what I was going through, he would always push me up. And so when I thought of that, I'm like, man, this would be a very powerful uh, ceremony to finish it, like put a little pressure on the dad, like, look, your son needs you to do this to complete this test, but also to show the son that it's okay to lean on his father. There was another video of a young man whose father wasn't present for the initiation. Because your father isn't here, I know you, I wish he was too. So what was going through your mind at that point? It choked me up because I remember so many times I wish my father was there to see me play football and he never was there. And that crushed my, my heart. That moment was so powerful because to see his, his, his step-grandfather and then uh, his mentor, me and, and, and my assistant to push through and no matter, we, we said we're gonna do as many push-ups as we can to show you that it doesn't matter what happens, we got you. Congrats, you pass. You man. What was it like growing up without your dad around consistently? I share that as well. My dad wasn't around mm -hmm. uh, and wasn't a consistent presence in my life. Yeah. And that shaped me for a large part of who I am today. Yes. How was that for you? To grow up not knowing who I was, that the very man I came from doesn't want to be around me. What does that say to me subliminally? What does it say to many kids who grew up without their fathers? And so I caught myself being involved in gangs. I never was a thug, um, but I needed affirmation. It was a way to say you're tough or your value, you mean something. And here it is, uh, stealing my stepfather's guns out the house, just doing things that uh, I knew was wrong. And because of not having that support of a father or someone to say, son, I love you, you're greater than this. Many of us, we go down the wrong path. And that's why gangs are popular, because brothers feel love there. And violence is one of the ways that the dysfunction in young men shows up. Mm -hmm. You have mass shootings on one side, and you have gang violence in the other. Yes. Can you speak to some of what you're seeing with the young men that you work with? The way we're able to um, almost eradicated in many of our recruits is allowing them to express why they're mad. You know, some boys are told you should never be mad. Anger on its own isn't a negative emotion. It's not. It's when it transitions into aggression yes, that sir. it becomes problematic. Now you see how important it is to be a human and not to be defined by masculinity. And tell me about what inspired you to do this work. My longing uh, to be fathered. My son asked me a question, and I often share this. He said, Dad, how did you become a great dad when your father wasn't? And I said, son, I simply gave you what I longed for. Who's this young man? It's my son, Jason, so. So wait, Jason, Jason, and Jason. Yes, sir. How cool three is that? Jasons, three Jasons. <laughs> How cool is that? And what have you learned about yourself with what your dad is teaching you and through martial arts? Um, I've learned that I have the soft spirit in me 
I have to let out the line whenever I have to. Whenever somebody's getting bullied at my school, mm -hmm. I have to just tell them it's not cool. I, I don't have to go all out on them and fight them. And that's it, right? L yes. Knowing when to be tender yes. and when to be fierce yes. is one of the truest definitions of being a man. And that's what makes me proud of him, just to don't give up, you know, and don't beat yourself up. Just keep going. All right. Yeah, appreciate you. This was good. Sure. This was Thank good, you. Jay. Thanks. Such a pleasure, brother. What a powerful story. You can learn more about Jason Wilson's work at the Cape of Adelum website. But I want to hear from you. What can we do differently to raise our boys? Hit me up on social media and use the hashtag Dear Men. I'm Jason Rosario, and this is Dear Men. <laughs>